Tuacha tu mkaribishe mgeni. Namuona vibe lake ni jigi. Jamani, hajatulia tangu ameingia unajua. Nataka tu yani eh nataka ashio mic. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Ulikuwa mnamsubiri sana Sarafina that you she know? is in the building. Karibu the sana. Kutaka tizi. <laughs> Karibu sana Sarafina. Mambo vipi? Poa kabisa. Uko na a lot of energy. No, I got a bank of that, you know. Uh-huh. A lot of naturally ama tunaitengeneza. Naturally. Wacha. Wewe kwa hivyo sababu most of the videos zako wanazifuatilia yani kila time kuna mzuka tu. Mimi wani kwa hivyo. Time gani wewe unajipata umepo Yaani nimesasha nimetulia labda ah labda tu nikiwa nimechoka sana niko nyumbani peke yangu watching movies maybe i'm chilling like mostly mzuka yeah i say over the top Mm. Yeah, niko vere. Uko vere. <laughs> Ala, mmekuwa mnitumia sana hiyo kibongo bongo. What does that mm. mean? Ah, unajua kuna misemo tu inakujaga uh. after time na nini. Lakini niko vere, yani yani yani. Niko vere. Yeah, yeah, yani ndio yeah, yeah, yenyewe. Ndio hiyo manake. Niko uh-huh. fit. Kukua tu tunasema fresh barida. Ah, fresh barida. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Tenle. <laughs> Nipo fiti. Mm. Yeah. So it's like sorry sana. Thank you. When did you know unaweza kuimba? Actually at a very young age. Mm. Nilikuwa mdogo sana Sunday school najua kanisani mm. hivi. Mm. So nilikuwa napewa microphone mimi nilikuwa napenda penda tukua mbele unajua. Mm. Yeah, I just loved to sing. Nilikuwa mm. nasikia amani nikipewa microphone nimbe. Ah. So nilikuwa mdogo sana. Uh-huh. Yeah, lakini after that nikaenda enda primary school na penye nikawa na kikundi changu cha kwaya. Mm-hmm. Unajua kanisani is the, sa- is the safest place you can you know practice singing wakati wazazi wako religious. Mm. You know? True. And then uh, secondary school na penye tuka nika shule ya masista. Mm-hmm. So ah. Oh. <laughs> Katoliki. Yeah, Kilimanjaro. Mm-hmm. So, uh, nimeweza kuendelea kwa advance kipaji changu hivyo kwa sababu tunaimba mara tatu kwa siku bali. Yote mnaongelea kuimba gospel ama? Yeah, gospel. Uh-huh. Yeah, so alafu watu wakawa wanazidi tu wanapenda ile toni yangu, ile ladha yangu. Mm-hmm. So me I was mm-hmm. like, you know, bila kujua kumbe it was developing najua. And then nimeingia tena uh, mm-hmm. university, nilienda mm-hmm. Dar es Salaam University of Dar es Salaam pale mm-hmm. and nikaingia kwenye praise and worship team. So I was only just looking oh. for a place ya kuendelea kwa kwa hivyo ite mtu umekuwa unafanya gospel tu. Yeah, you know, from a fake ile kaja kuja kuingiaje. Hapo sasa. Maana yake alikuwa ndio akumuliza alianguka nini? Alikuwa Iko backslide. Hapana, hapana. Unajua unajua Mungu ana mengi. Purposes na njia ni tofauti. So um mimi I believe I'm, I'm, I have a purpose and I'm following wito wangu. So ah nime nime chuo hiyo. Chuo nimeanza kuimba kwenye karaoke competition. <laughs> Hapo ndipo the fall of man. Nazungumzia mwaka gani sasa? Oh, hiyo ni 2016. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. ni kwa wangu wa kwanza pale mm. ya University of Dar es Salaam. Mm. Nikawa naimba imba kwenye karaoke competition, mm. nikafanikiwa kushinda mara kwanza nikalipoka kama uh, laki tano hivi ya Tanzania. Hiyo mm. kama dola ngapi? Ah, uh, dola ngapi? 250 eh? 250, oh, 250 yeah. dollars. So k Yeah. Mm-hmm. So nikanunua gazangu gitaa langu la kwanza, nikawa mm-hmm. na practice music. And then baada hapo my friends were like, you know what? You should go bigger, you know? Mm. Lakini kipindi hicho uh, ulikuwa hakuna mashindano makubwa ambayo labda naweza nikafanya. Nika and then ikawa imetangazwa kwamba Bongo Star Search uh, inarudi kwa mara nyingine mm. after ukimia wa muda kidogo. Mm. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for this, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then nika nilikuwa Dar es Salaam by then lakini tulikuwa tunakaribia kufunga chuo. So nikataka ku represent Mwanza. That's where I'm born and raised mm. and my family is there. So nikarudi bila kuambia hata wazazi unajua. Mm-hmm. Kimya kimya nikaenda kufanya audition. Kwa sababu nilijua ningewaambia wasingenirusa. Kwa nini? <laughs> kwa nini unafikiri wangekataa? Kwa sababu unajua ni wazazi ambao uh, mm. kwanza kabisa ki ki, ki tribe mm. uh, ni, ku, tuko strict kidogo ah. wasukuma mambo nini. na usanii ama eh, yani mambo hata eh, yani hata uvaji oh. ni, yani tribe langu iko very strict okay. ni wasukuma and then vile vile religion mm. unajua wa kristu sana na nini alafu tu unatokea from unajua wanajua usanii mara nyingi wazazi wanajua usanii ni uhuni anasa mm. you know, anasa anasa That's the word yes <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, ilikuwa kidogo changamoto ndio maana ikabidi tu nifanye bila kuambia and okay. then after that wakaja waka kujua kwa sababu yale mashindano ni makubwa 
and then wakaja wakatangaza kwenye kwenye TV kwamba eh, walopita ku represent nani Mwanza mm. ni huyu na huyu and then everybody was like you know my dad ana mm. biashara fulani pale ambao anakutana sana na watu they were like we've seen your daughter somewhere ilikuwaaje yani ilikuwa i say alikuja nyumbani uh. moto uliwaka no way oh my god <laughs> yeah it was like cuz alikuwa hajui and then he just found out mm. afu mimi mwenyewe i was you know gathering my strength to talk to him mm. lakini imenikuta off guard sasa mm. so i just decided to talk to him nikamwambia kishingo upande sana mm. akaweza kuniruhusu nirudi dar es salaam mm. kuweza ku, kuendelea kwa sababu by then bado nilikuwa chuo okay. nilikuwa mwaka wangu wa chuo wa mwisho mm. alafu nikaanza kufanya tena competition what were you pursuing ulikuwa unasomea nini bachelor's in petroleum chemistry You are a smart girl in a manner so much kama hivyo ni na wana mrefu wewe. Yeah. Mm. So um nikaweza ku, ku, ku yani kumconvince tu kwamba I can do both you know. Okay. I can try at least unajua ni malize bongo star search and then we can I can focus on my my school ni malize and then tutaangalia mambo mengine. Ah uh, unajua kuna kipindi sana niko camp unajua akanipigia simu akaniambia you know what I'm your dad please listen to me. If I'm your dad get out of that competition really? listen to me. Eh yeah, I was like you know it was very conflicting because I was the only one ambaye ndio alikuwa naamini ninachokifanya everybody else was just Aww. against me and my friends i also lost friends unajua kwa nini marafiki nao walisemaje walikuwa nasema umekingeuka wewe you fall of kwa marafiki zangu walikuwa walikuwa ni marafiki wa gani kwani ah religious unajua kanisani nini wakaona kwamba eh jamani sasa huyo ameharibika haribika so i even lost friends so i just decided to stand for you know what i believe in very strongly competition ilikuwa pelekaje ya uh, Bongo Stars actually niliweza kushinda at 2018 i was uh, the champion you were i did congratulations to the winner. <laughs> thank you yeah. so uh hiyo uh-huh. vile, vile vile ilinipa uh, uraisi zaidi kwa sababu unajua my, my 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 parents my family wakaanza kuamini zaidi kwamba kumbe uh. there's something there you know mm. uh, lakini tunataka ukamaliza shule kwanza kamaliza mm-hmm. shule kwanza <laughs> and then tutaangalie mambo mengine i was like okay i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna release any music everybody was was expecting me kama nikitoka ule upepo nini everybody's nana ni Mm. Or to achieve mziki I'm going to do great. I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go to school. Nikamaliza chuo. Chuma zalini sasa. Eh, eh? Chuma maliza lini. 2020 actually. Oh. Wakati wa corona. Wakati wa corona then I graduated and um then my dad was like, ah rudi nyumbani saa tuongee tunafanya nini? Hapo ilikuwa hapo ilikuwa hujachia ngoma yote kabisa. Nilikuwa sijachia ngoma yote kabisa. And then nimefika eh, nyumbani my dad and my mom family meeting they're like, okay. Aha. Uh-huh. Sasa unataka kuolewa? Unataka fanya your masters mm-hmm. au unataka ku, kuajiriwa au ni nini unataka kupumzika mm. like, mimi nataka kufanya mziki Ayayay, mtoto msumbufu huyu. Mtoto msumbufu. Kitu wa kigumu. Tumekeza school fees hapo nini? Yeah, you know. So that was like a blow for them, you know. Mm. It wasn't really easy. It was messy actually that meeting. My mom actually kicked me out of the meeting like God, toka. Toka really? kwanza. Yeah, this is too much, you know. And then uh, at the end of the day, uh, just I was just a strong head and I was so determined. I was I was like, "Dad, please, you got to give me a chance." Wangapi kwenu wewe? Wewe ni wangapi? Wa kwanza. That's why. Wow, no, you are a strong head. Yeah. Uh, so watoto uh, wangapi? Sita. Oh. Yeah. Eh, Tunakuanga hivyo wale uh, lazima ku hivyo. Na first ball ndio sasa kichwa. So um uh, mushoni wakabidi tu uh, akabidi tu anielewe akasema kwamba kishinga upande lakini mm. kabisa straight away I'm telling you my daughter I do not consent to this. Lakini you are too stubborn. Mm. So I'm gonna let you go try and then unajua vitu vikienda ni you still my daughter let's come figure it out if things don't go the way you you, you planned so okay I, i was like i'm just going to support you because i asked them like cuz i didn't have a penny i was like so i'm going to dar es salaam mimi nakaa mwanza i'm going to dar es salaam to do music i don't have a place to stay and whatever mm, cuz uh, i was going to ask you <laughs> kama ulikuwa na nani nyuma yako no. sababu mziki nao si mchezo si mchezo uh, na, na, nataka we pick it up from there okay. sasa umetoka nyumbani ambapo wazazi wamekubali shingo upande yeah, you know umeenda za ko dar es salaam <laughs> yeah. now you need to make kids i have hey, to na ndo maana leo hata tuko na wewe kwenye studio kwa sababu somehow you made it mm. yeah hey, so. na ngoma yake upo nyonyo na nyimbo nyingine nyingi didi atazicheza hapa mm-hmm. so tuko na Sarafina Sarafina jina lako kamili ama Sara Sara yeah, Sara Kitinga Sarafina ikatoka wapi Sarafina is my baptism name mm. na my dad anapenda tu kuniita Sarafina okay <laughs> yeah. all right 
Unenjoy. Hapo iko na mabantu hapa. Unjua single. Hapo niko na bad is 47. Ni bad. Si. Kama sauti zikafanana sana. Kuna na flani. Nikuulize. Eh, oh uko single unaenjoy ina maana kwamba pia unakubali hiyo ama yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You are not ready. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> Eh uh, na Sarafina kutokea Tanzania uh-huh. uh, mbaya sasa hivi. Wa Kenya wamependa ngoma yake sana ya upo nyonyo. Hebu tueleze maana halisi. Maana kengi Kenya Kenya. Upo <laughs> nyonyo upo titi. Yaani watu kuna maana zao tofauti tofauti. I know. Yeah. Bana hao Clemone gani? Titi uh-huh. matiti yenyewe. Sio kwa nataka useme. Clemone oh. wewe. Kwa sababu kusema si unatumia maneno ya tafsira. I know. Sawa. <laughs> Amena direct. Mm-hmm. Eh, eh? Nafikiri kama wa Kenya wengi wameenda direct. <laughs> I know. So upo mm. nyonyo, upo mm. titi ni msemo ambao kwa Kiswahili kule. Mm. Kwa unajua kitu tunapiga story, tunapiga umbea, mm. tuna exchange vitu fulani. Kwa to make sure you, we are together. Mm. Kwa tunapiga story tunapiga na kuuliza upo nyonyo. Mm. Ni upo titi. Kwa alienda hivi upo nyonyo. Ni upo mm. titi. Unajua vitu kama. Ni pamoja. Ni tuko pamoja. Kumi mm. imeelewa. Ikishika mm. ni ile story. Eh. Sisi kila mtu anataka kusikia ndio anataka kila mtu anataka kusikia wa Kenya wamepokea sana kwa ukubwa zaidi ngoma yake especially on Twitter i mean TikTok ina maana gani kwa mziki wako hii ina maana kubwa sana and that's why i'm here kwa sababu wa Kenya yani wamenifanya mpaka nimeshindwa kukaa huko Tanzania nimekuja hapa ni mara yako kwanza kuja Kenya yeah it's actually the first time and i'm having so much fun and nataka niwashukuru physically personally kwamba mm. you know kitu ambacho amekifanya ni kikubwa sana katika mm. career yangu mm. uh, wameweza kubeba jambo langu kwa uzito mm. mimi nimepost hiyo nyimbo tiktok ni kwa sio mtumiaji sana wa tiktok mm. ila kwa sababu ama artist sasa ndafanyaje mm. nikapost tu ile nyimbo a video ilivotoka and then i just left unajua mm. after like two days uh, my manager defied and anambia do you know what this song is doing <laughs> on tiktok <laughs> yani have you checked tiktok uh. naangalia tiktok every minute watu wana record video every minute to what mm. hashtag in ongezeka sasa hivi mm. talking like 11 million hashtag wanatumia wow. tiktok and almost okay organically viewers on youtube 2 million and streaming platforms inafanya vizuri sana mm. inashika namba kubwa huko kwenye chats za shaza and whatever so any for me this is my breakthrough song and mm. wa kenya wana part kubwa sana wamecheza katika maisha ya Uh, maisha yangu na umejua ni kwa sababu gani wameipenda ama tukwambi ama tumesikia Clemo mwenyewe kwa hiyo ngapana mwendele tukasema kuwa wale moja wa sanaa ambao yani ulikuja ukalipuka ile gafu unajua mara nyingi mara nyingi tunatarajia msanii mmoja amekuwa kama upcoming anakuja nini ile kwa tukuja umsikia tumsikia Sarafina Sarafina amekuwa mkubwa kabisa yeah i have my process unajua kama hivyo nilivoelezea nimezunguka huko nime nini lakini ni kwa sijafika huko you know so mpaka bongo sasa nimemaliza nikaanza kufanya muziki mimi huu sio muziki wangu wa kwanza kutoa I think niweza toka ni wangapi kwa saba hivi something mm. like that. So nimeanza kufanya mziki rasmi nilipoingia Dar es Salaam nikamwambia mm. manager nikamwambia nikutana na manager wangu hapa hivi ni fighter nikamwambia hapa sasa ndo nimekuja mm-hmm. ndo tuanze na hatuna chochote. Mm. <laughs> so we started nikatoa nyimbo yangu ya kwanza mm. ikafanya tu vizuri kawaida mm. ya pili sitaki tena ah, unajua kulialia waswahili wanapenda sana ukiumizwa nini kulia mm. pamoja. And then nikatoa tena nyimbo yangu nyingine inaitwa asio kitoto uh, ikafanya fanya vizuri na yenyewe kidogo uh-huh. pale and then nikatoa umerudiana nikashirikishwa kwenye single na badest and then nikashirikishwa uh-huh. kwenye nyimbo mbili na chege sarafina huyo <laughs> eh nimedanzishwa huku niko karibu kukoda <laughs> Hitmaker wa song hiyo ya upo nyonyo. Eh na tumeambiwa si hiyo tunyonyo. Uh-uh. Hii ni upo upo nyonyo. Kama mtu mwenyewe tu wa feel eh? vinataka ku feel. Nani? Yaani hata cha mtu ajibambe vinataka eh. kujibamba. Oh. 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 Utaka kusikia oh. nyingine acha hiyo nyingine. Yaani tusipimiane. Tusipi Kwa hata kitu tu force mimi. Uh-uh. Au anataka kubadilisha aseme nipe nyonyo. Eh. Ah. <laughs> Hapo sasa. <laughs> kuna hiyo version pia ni wa Kenya ni wa Kenya sana na wengine wako studio sasa tukirudi kwa hapo kwa Sarafina sasa now tulikuwa tuna tunapiga story hapo awali uh, kutokea kwako ghafla mm-hmm. ukasema kwamba it wasn't so mm-hmm. you know mpitia kas- yako pia yeah ukatatuambia how you met the manager mm-hmm. the fighter toleze now the process ya kwamba mm. unaingia kwenye industry na kubapokezi alikuwaje 
pia kipindi ilikuwa ni 2020 umesema yeah. cuz it was during covid 2021 sasa nimeanza kuingia ndio mm. nimerudi mm. sadaa sasa rasmi yeah, nimerudi da mm-hmm. and then nika tukapambana tukaanza kutoa nyimbo yangu ya kwanza mm. uh, ambayo ni in love nafikiri watu wameisikia pia mm. uh, ilifanya vizuri tu lakini sio sana si unajua mm. baby steps yeah. <laughs> alafu ikafuatia sitaki tena unajua kuna watu ime, sitaki tena ina, ina mandhari ya kuachwa na kulialia sana mm. unajua na kuchamba chamba sana yani vitu mm. kama hivyo so watu walikuwa wanafikiri labda Sarafina jamani mbona kama sio mtanzania sana wakati yeah. mimi <laughs> Maraka bapozi ule kuja nayo si ya Tanzania my friends. Yeah uh, so kuna ngine alikuwa anadhani eti mimi ni Mkenya and I was like no me I'm pure Tanzanian kabisa mm, tena ni wa Colleagues on. Mm, so uh, tukao tunawapa nyimbo za Kiswahili vile vile wakao wanaelewa mm, ha kumbe huyu huyu mm, kweli wa kwetu. Mm, and then tukao tunatoa tukaendelea kutoa projects hivyo then nikashirikishwa sasa na Badest mm, eh, kwenye single ndio ilikuwa collaboration yangu ya kwanza. Mm, uh, you know enjoy. Eh you know enjoy kwa mm, single na enjoy. Uh, ilifanya vizuri sana na yenyewe kwa sababu unajua Badest Street King na yeye. Mm. Tani watu wanaelewa sana Gengeton. Yeye ndio Gengeton ya Bongo hiyo. Yeye Gengeton ya Bongo. So uh, baada ya hapo nikaweza kushirikishwa kwenye nyimbo mbili tena na Chege, mm. uh, Sinsima pamoja na Kushki. Mm. So unajua hiyo iliniongezea imani pia kwa watu kwa sababu unajua uh, Chege has been in industry for, for long. Yeah, afu watu wengi wanamwamini kama ananiamini mimi kunishirikisha kwenye projects mbili mm. kubwa za kwake. Everybody else was just like okay this is it unajua. Mm. So ili nisogeza sana vile vile and then nikatoa nyimbo yangu inaitwa sio kitoto na yenyewe ikafanya vizuri and then baada ya hapo nikatoa number one ambayo ilikuwa ni collaboration na Ruby na Ruby yes yeah, so okay, in Tanzania watu wanamheshimu Ruby sana especially vocally you know yeah, and uh, so when i saw her amefanya kazi na yeye mm-hmm. i was like ah ni kama pia wanakubali huyu Dema mm-hmm. tell me ulipokutana naye mpaka mkatengeza ngoma so actually Ruby siku tulikutana tu nilikuwa na Peter studio nilikuwa mm. na, na meeting flani na my manager lakini mm. uh, Ruby vile vile alikuwa anafanya the same studio alikuwa mm. na recorded the same studio and um, ilivyofika ndo maana kwanza hata sisi kuonana mm. kasalimiana vizuri pale and, and she was like she loved my vibe she was like mm. we should actually work on something mm. kasema yeah but she was like we should actually work on it now I'm like yeah oh. let's go let's do it me I'm now now let's go okay I'm not okay. waiting mm. so tukaingia studio then tuka tukafanya hiyo goma tukaua the same day mm. just a matter of hours tukamaliza hiyo mm-hmm. nyimbo mm. and then uh, Uh, baada hapo nikawa nime tukashindwa ku shoot before kwa sababu i had safari ya kwenda ku represent Tanzania Dubai Expo ah, yeah so mm-hmm. nikaenda kule uh, nika represent Tanzania matukua kuna tamasha ile kubwa and then tuliporudi then tuka shoot video so unaona great energy great vocals you know mm. she, she is great you know she mm. is great Ime, to me to, it was beautiful uh-huh. to work with her imetokea tu kusana kufananisha na Venus someday kwa kwa unipokeaje kwangu mimi uh, naipokea vizuri tu mm. it's a compliment ni sema kwa sababu mm. uh, Vanessa Mdee amekuwa katika industry muda mrefu kafanya vitu vikubwa she has mm. inspired a lot of people a lot of youth and vile vile mimi nipo kwenye industry sijui nafikiri mwaka mmoja tu na mm. miezi nane sita uh, alafu na mimi na, 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 na kuwa nalinganishwa na mtu ambaye ameshafanya vitu vikubwa katika industry for me it's a compliment why should i be mad about that mm. lakini watu tu wajue kwamba you know this is my season now mm. and this is Sarafina mm. and she's never gonna be Vanessa and mm. Vanessa is never gonna be Sarafina uh, Vanessa pure shimayake mm. na mimi vile vile I got a lot more to offer yeah. okay hey, pay attention Allah Allah <laughs> I, I was talking to you hapo wali eh you know mimi nikakwambia mimi sikufananishi na Vanessa uh-huh. <laughs> kwa nimekuuliza nani ambaye alikuwa alikuwa na kuinspire apart from Vanessa mm. musically umenijibu vipi Beyonce baby you know <laughs> ah, she is amazing yani mm. amna kitu ambacho kinaweza kumdescribe lakini mm. um, she is an inspiration katika kila sector her commitment her mm. focus her work ethics mm. discipline you know she it never gets old mm. Ajawe ku disappoint. Mm. Yeah, so so mm-hmm. she's been inspiring me so much. Mm. Yeah. Ndio zile dance tunaona sasa pale yani, kwenye videos. Yeah, bringing that experience to Africa. Yeah. You know? Sawa. <laughs> Sawa. Do you dream labda kufanya naye kazi siku moja? Absolutely. Na fikiri nitazimia. Nikipata sasa yona fast cuz like, you know. Natazimia. Wewe ngo tazimia na sasa. Atuko wengi wala tunataka. Uko vizuri sana on stage Sarafina. Thank you very much. Ah, unapiga zoezi sana. 
Yeah, I work out and I love to dance. Uh, mm. Unajua wakati naingia katika industry, unajua kila mtu uh, anapambana kivi yake namna yake ili kuweza ku, ku, mm. kutengeneza njia yake. Mm. Uh, you, you gotta find, you know, vitu ambavyo you need to add the uniqueness of your kwako. Kwani watu wakukubali wewe? Mm. So me, I did my research and I was like, "Aha, okay. It is here and here." So maybe I'm actually a vocalist. I can actually sing on mm-hmm. I'm not even joking cuz uh what was I saying so I'm so full of myself no give me a chance I'll show you so I'm a vocalist and I'm trying to let people know that and uh vile vile I'm a stage performer mm. I'm, I can dance so I'm selling Na all that. Yeah cuz unakuta watu wengine wanaweza kuimba very good but they can't dance as well uh-huh. na yeah. Anyway we come back to that okay. Sarafina Mhm umekuja Kenya at na ni kabla hata uje Kenya kumekuwa na ukaribu fani hivi na Otile Brown paka kuna niliona kwenye blog moja ya Kenya anasema mm. are they dating alafu ikazidishwa moto na vile walikuona DJ uh, wakakuona uh, waka kwenye ile show alikuwa ana perform Otile on Saturday amekushika mkono akopandisha stage tueleze uhusiano wako na Otile Brown ulipoipamba jamani mtaniua Sasa Nikiondoka Kenya nitakuwa nimechoka sana. Ah okay so mimi na Otile ni ni marafiki tu. We have Rafiki umezalini urafikeni. Eh? Urafikeni umezalini. Ah so mimi I met him alipokuja Tanzania. I think I going to shoot video yake a celebration. Eh mimi na my manager tukaenda pale and then we we met him, we talked to him and you know we exchanged um contacts ni mwanzo wa kujuana jamani mm. so uh, <laughs> mm. nafikiri um mimi mwenyewe I, I was so happy kwa sababu I'm a huge fan of Tele Brown mm. kuanzia muda mrefu tuko and then yeye yeah, kuweza kukubali pia kazi zangu mm. that was an, you know that was something mm. that great mimi video nimeona hiyo mko uko kwenye backstage mm. oh, very cozy <laughs> mm. okay, well, kama mimi nikaa na wewe kwa ngi kozi kwa kazi hata tukiwa huko nje spendagi ukue kozi karibu na spendi yani tukae 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 katika studio hata tukae nje tukae katika studio please inaweza hata sasa hivi unajua baridi lakini pale sarafina na otile ni muhimu tena tena otile na sarafina aha Yari umeketi yani unaona vile wana vibe yani wanaelewana. Mm. So, uh so we plan kuja Kenya and then um kabla sijaja actually tuna communicate so nikamtafuta mm. nikaongea naye and then you know um tunaongea vitu vingi tunashauriana so mm. uh, kaniambia tu it's a, it's a good thing to come and I can show it's a good thing to come and mm. you know do this thing. Were you part of that show ama uh part of the your yeah. show yes at all no so i'm actually getting there so okay. he was like okay uh, there's a show happening this saturday would you want to like be part of it i was like hell yeah <laughs> i'm coming in hard mm. i want to be part of that and you know to be able i was excited because i would also be able to perform for the first time in kenya mm. alongside a big act like otila brown mm. for me it's very humbling and it's an honor so Um I took that chance and um I will never forget that I told him on stage mm. that that's really big. Mm. So um yes sijui tu nataka kusema nini. Ila chochote kinaweza tokea pia ama kuhusu nini? Kama So I you actually on that nota uh, so kuna kazi labda mipango mmepanga na hotel mm-hmm. labda Ah nafikiri tutegemee kitu chochote kile pale mm. mkitakuwa tayari chochote tutakuwa ready to share you know mm. uh, he's he's such a gentleman unaposema all mm. that you've seen he's mm. a gentleman jamani mm. just being him afford to la tabia kuita kila mtu sweetie si ni uongo Sami ntajua jo wewe alishakuita sweetie ana nitaga hata kile postulo ana nitaga na na kwanza very very not I'm like no ni mwende Ah uh, basi mm. kama alishakuita na wewe itakuwa na mimi alishakuniita ah. kama wengine pia 
<laughs> ni mkururo wa watu. <laughs> Kuna rumors za kwamba uko umesainiwa na Konde gang mm. same to they have not announced. Is this true? It's not true. Mm. Yeah, I'm not signed under any label. Ni ni rumors ambazo nafikiri zitatoka wapi? I don't know. Watu tu wanapenda labda kwa sababu nyimbo yangu ime, imefanya vizuri and mm. you know shout out to Kajala. Mm. Um Konde's uh, baby baby girl ameweza mm. uh, kuni support kwa ukubwa sana baada mm. kutoa project i think um, unajua mwanamke akipenda kitu basi eh, basi so i think shout out kwa konde vile vile kwa sababu from there na yeye akawa amepick up ameweza kuni support and you know real recognizes real you know so, uh, ikitokea nafasi ya kuwa, ya kuwa sign unaweza ni kitu ambacho unazataka kuwa signed popote kule au uh, yeah. mm. anyway just anyway tuongee kwanza konde <laughs> Ah, kwa kweli jamani. Mimi nafikiri so far we good, you know. Mm. Yeah, lakini uh, mimi nasema tu ikitokea chance yote ya ku, ya ku further my career na ku, unajua kukua zaidi katika career yangu na kufikia vision yangu, mm. I'm gonna take the chance, you know. It doesn't really matter kama ni hivyo au ni haja, mm. lakini as long as tunafikia lengo na tunaelekea katika vision. Manager na issue na hiyo story. Ah manager anapiga kazi mtu wa kazi. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> manager. Anyway, so I to tell them uh, how they can find you kwenye mitandao tofauti tofauti kijamii. So actually kwanza nawashukuru sana kwa kuendelea kuni support. They're showing me so much uh, positive energy. Mm. Uh, wasichoke tu kuni support. Uh, Mziki wangu unapatikana katika YouTube channel yangu. Mm. Sarafina uh, TZ. Mm. Upo nyonyo video is there na mm. video zingine zote za projects zangu ambazo nishai kufanya. Na kwenye digital platforms zote unaweza ka stream nyimbo zangu na wanaweza kani follow katika mitandao ya kijamii kama Sarafina_TZ. Underscore, underscore, Sarafina ya PH. Let's bond yo. <laughs> ah, kuna kitu kutujibu. Hiyo e, kwa yenyewe. Ya nipo ni nyonyo. Uh-huh. It's a heartbreak song. Nimesikiza leo. Ndio was like oh my god. It's a heartbreak song. Ak- actually it's two in one unajua. Mm. Naelezea huko nilikotoka nilivomia sasa hivi yeah. nimepata muziko. Ni ni kwa ni story ya kweli ama ni story ambayo umebuni? <laughs> ya kweli jamani labda ishe kunitokea huko zamani <laughs> lakini sasa hivi mimi naongea kama kioja jamii huko <laughs> <laughs> zamani ulipigwa character development matukio sisi kwetu wanasema unapigwa matukio huko <laughs> <laughs> mwanza ama ukiwa da nikiwa da hey, wada wamevurugwa sana <laughs> <laughs> All right. So kwa hivyo watu waingie DM ama wakuache tu sasa. Wa slide tu. Wa slide. Bond, eh. mm. Slide. Unajibu wakiingia. Tajibu kuhusu kazi, si ndio? Oh. Eh, kuhusu kazi tutaelekeza hapa kuangalia na nili kazi. Hawatakutana na mtu mwingine huko boyfriend anze kujibu wala vitu kama hivyo. I say are you for your si nimesema mimi niko single. Na enjoy. Sasa sikieni. Uh-huh. Ingieni DM. <laughs>